tell my mommy I have her camera. Good evening, RCW. This is the Pine Size Perspective, Kathy. August 26th, Art of War. No wonder it's so special, because it's my mommy's birthday. And the way has a very special gift for her. Losses. And uh, thanks to Uncle Max, Lionheart Straw is going to be wired shut so he can't sing happy birthday. And Uncle Rick is going to rip that title right off of Crowley's shoulder. And uh, well, this is what you get uh, for talking smack about Uncle Max. For Mommy's birthday, she will be seeing the misfits in the hospital. Kathy, do you see my phone? Oh, I'll see you August 26th, Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio, Art of War. Peace out, RCW. One cameraman positioned in the ring. For an up-close and personal view. Studio Wrestling is back. RCW Rubber City Wrestling presents to you RCW Global. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. So we're going to be ready for all this? We're going to be ready. All right, I know, you know, it's not a, what I expected, you know, for your birthday okay. and everything, but... I know, hang on, something's not right here. Is it this, where, where's Draven? Yeah, this is usually... What in the blue... I'm ready for war. Is the blue oyster bar here? What's, what's what? going on here? Well, what war, war exactly are you going to? Sounds like coconut with this. Talk about hole-in-one, right? Happy Gilmore, right? Shooter, right? Let me, let me take this. Let's, let's, let's lose this. Well, I couldn't find the helmet. You got a helmet? Wait, are you surprised you have a helmet? I mean, he's got a lot of things. Guys, August 26th, Hawaiian Lions. I couldn't get a tag match, so we're going to have to do this solo. I got JL solo. I've got it. Dragon Solo and got you Solo. Hey, it's Rory's birthday. I know. Let's I know. make August 26th. Let's make her proud. Let's give her a present. And I'm not talking about any major. Easy. But, Whoa, hey, 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 I don't think so. It just kind of happened. Well, speaking of things, I can talk to you guys. Um, I've got ideas. Uh-oh. Ideas. She's got ideas. I've got ideas. I've got ideas. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of RCW Global. Right now, we've got our opening match of the evening. The Hawaiian Hammerhead, Draven Pose, doing that stupid stomp. Um, and he's to get taken on. Hey, Stack. What do you think, Ricky Williams? Oh, man. Uh, hey, Stack. Uh, he's a big boy. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Almost 400 pounds, big boy. And wait, hold up. Draven oh. down the pin, too. Ooh, that was already over. Man, yeah, nice freaking. Inseguri, yeah, yes. Yeah, I caught that. Inseguri to the head. Haystack. Draven's actually taking pretty good advantage of uh, this match. We've got a crowd on the other side over there screaming for Draven. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, oh, well, Haystack is laughing. But that elbow, those elbows are slow and weak looking. I'm sorry. Oh, Here he goes, throwing him into the. Him the yeah, yeah, nice oh, but that clothesline didn't look slow or weak. Oh my goodness. Yes. So I guess yes. it's just when you've got that kind of weight, it doesn't matter with the elbows. But when it got that kind of weight, doesn't matter with that clothesline. Good lord, that All thing that was. All that weight on that clothesline, though, I'm surprised he kicked out of that. 
I'm surprised his head's still on his shoulders. Yeah, for real. Now all this weight on his freaking back into his neck. Oh, goodness. You know, that's that's a 400-pound man just yanking on him right oh, now. Oh, jeez. Surprised his head's still attached as he's stretching the living thing. That's, oh, and a punch to the chest. Yes, indeed. One, One, two, two three. Come on, ref. You know that was three. That was a two count. We got the kids in there watching the match. They all scooching in. People are coming into the arena just to see this match. Yes, sir. So now to be good. Into the turnbuckles. Draven and Draven was a nice kick on a Haystack, and now I'm impressed. And a cross body. And a cross body. One, two, two three. three. It is over. All right, I did not expect him to win and this match. I'm not going to lie. Draven. You know what controlled chaos is. I shouldn't have to explain it to you in order for you to know, but controlled chaos is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm controlling the chaos that I'm going to unleash on RCW unless I get my World Heavyweight Championship shot. I looked at the card for Art of War 4. Cody Reaper, Marcus Knight, Rick Lee versus Alexander Crawley, but there's a name that's not on that card, and it's me. For the past year, hell, year and a half, I've made RCW my kingdom. I sat upon the throne and I've watched over the field. Challenger after challenger, I've sat down. You want to know the last time I lost a match? Last time I lost a match was October 22nd, 2022. That was the last time I ever lost. You wanna know the next time I'm gonna lose? Never. Because at Art of War 4, you're not gonna have any wrestlers left on your roster if I'm left off the card for another week. And you know what? Show day is getting real close and I haven't gotten any answers. And you know what? Since I haven't gotten any answers, you're going to start to see a little bit of retaliation on my part. Not the KE, not the system, none of that. You're going to see it on my end. Give me what I want, and the show goes on. But if you don't, game over. Remember the matches at the old Akron Armory? Back when wrestling was real and you weren't being force fed the sports entertainment crap? Well, RCW does. And that's why on Saturday, August 26th, Rubber City Wrestling brings to you The Art of War 4. This event not only features eight great matches, including four championship matches, but also live music entertainment. The main event will be for the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, Merciless Marcus Knight, taking on the champion, Cody Reaper. Also, for the World Light Heavyweight Championship, your role model, Rick Lieb, will take on ruthless Alexander Crowley for his belt. Tickets are $15 for general admission, $20 for front row. For more information, visit twitter.com forward slash rubber wrestling or facebook.com forward slash rubber city wrestling. This event is sanctioned by the Ohio Athletic Commission. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. We call it Brawler Jail Watson here. I work hard all day, every day, working for the common man, working for everyone. And when I get off work and I want to have a nice cold beer to reward myself, I come to Loose Tavern in Prairie Township, Ohio. For good times with good people in a family like environment, come to Lose 3238 Lincoln Way East in Maslin, Ohio, 44646. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Wake up out there! This is the outcast Shannon Moore. Mr. Technical Barry Horowitz. Fight Foom, the Shockmaster, and the B A Double D. This is Chad Saylor, and you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. 
If you don't believe me, ask me. I'm Magnum TA and that's some straight talk with the boss. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global, Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. Okay, it, really guys, I couldn't get a tag match from everybody. Seriously? It's not, it was out of our hands, baby doll. No, it's not my fault. It's... Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. We gotta put that crawly thing in it. Crawly, what are you doing here? Listen. You need me in the Hawaiian Lions. You need me. Come on, what do you say, Roy? Give Alexander Crawley a shot. One time. That's it. That's all I want. Will you give me that shot? One time. Come on. At least think about it. Think, think about it, please. please, 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 please. And, and don't bring more, please, don't please, more gold into please. the misfits. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. I had to like him with title. He does. I don't know. I heard Spike has the light heavyweight title. I can help these two get the tag titles. How are you going to help them get the tag titles? That's not my hat. I can't disclose it to you. I. He's, what just happened? Can't just to join the Misfits? We're gonna have to call JL and Bobby Eagle and discuss this later. I mean, I'm not opposed. Yeah, come on, we, we need to talk. All right, we're back here with RCW Global. I don't know what the heck is going on with Ruthless Alexander Crowley trying to get a tag team. He's already got the RCW World Light Heavyweight Championship at least until, you know, uh, Saturday when I take that belt from him. Yeah, okay. Anyway, this is the tables match from... Uh, again, you know, from um, Scars and Straps. And again, it's unfortunately the... Audio does not work in this right. match, so we're gonna have to just go to. to we're gonna have to do a lot of talking during this. Yeah, that's so, all right, but you just you see Spike. He's like he was stomping away on Alexander Crowley and just beating the living daylights out of him. And now, oh well, yeah, but that's to be expected. I mean, oh, you know, goodness. Let's be honest. Crowley's never beaten Spike, so he's not. It's not like, you know, Spike is, in my opinion, the better wrestler of the two. And I mean, uh, sorry, but I kind of do agree, but OK, you know, well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, honestly, they're both really fantastic wrestlers. I uh, I might be playing a little bit of a head game there with this one, but I, maybe I'm not. Ooh, I mean, Spike nice. did Spike lose Crowley. the belt. Yeah, Spike did not lose the belt. And right here, I mean, watch this match. It's a tables match. Now. The rules to this match is you have to send your opponent through a table, and that's how you win the match. And so let's go ahead and watch this and enjoy seeing. Um, uh, I, I don't know if you were there for this event. I think you might have been. Um, and so we both were, will call this as if we're watching it for the first time. But mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and tell you a couple things that I disagree with when it happens. Because... Uh, Wait, it's, <coughs> on, just real quick. Look, look at, at those look chops. At, no, look at Spike, like, just taking them like it's nothing. I'm surprised Spike's able to take the chops from Crowley. I heard he's got pretty good ones. Ooh, but look at that. Now, Crowley's taking it from Spike. And uh, Spike made sure he took off any form of padding whatsoever Boy, before he one. did it. And, and, oh, my gosh, did he just chop him hard. Yeah, he did. And here it goes with a beautiful snap mare. Now... Grabbing the arm, and he's met. Listen, as somebody who's wrestled Spike in the past and has been in this move, it hurts. And it feels like your arm is being popped out of your shoulder. And everybody's like, well, he's so little, he's so skinny. The guy is solid as a rock, okay? He might be skinny, but it doesn't mean he's out of shape. No, you and know? he is right now beating the living daylights out of Alexander Crowley. It's, <clears throat> it's getting bad. I mean, and, and, Goodness. and, and just putting a clinic on right now for Alexander Crowley and Alexander Crowley's about to find out why he calls himself the real world's champion. And look at that. He just got done hitting his arm across the yeah, dreamers logo, but under that dreamers logo, solid steel. Yep. So wooden steel. Now, that's all what, you have. What is here it goes. Here? Oh, oh, he's no. going to go to, he's trying to break this arm. Oh, oh, and no. that's his right arm too. That's the arm that he uses to hit with. Oh, and geez. Of course, his uh, Spike's new tag team partner, Dice K, standing outside the ring with him. And uh, I'm telling you right now, man, this has been a brutal onslaught from Spike Ronan on 
uh, Alexander Crowley. So right, this is this is and now he's got him. Oh, I hate oh. that. I hate that. I'd hate to be the recipient of that move Gosh. right there. Good lord, he just stomps it out while it's while it's straight in there, and then he drop does a drop. Um, a leg drop on the arm, and now he's locked it in in a key lock and is just wrenching on it. And then sp Spike, uh, numerous shots on Alexander Crowley so that he doesn't try and get out. Right. This now, is... right there, I don't agree with him letting go, though, because I don't believe Crowley broke out. Right. Now, this is uh, this is definitely a hard thing to watch if you're an Alexander Crowley fan. Goodness. Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've been watching his work. I'm a big fan of what he does. Oh, yeah, sure. But, I mean, I'll also be honest with you. I'm a bigger fan of Spike. And is I, he doing, like, the Three Amigos? He just did. That's yeah. the Three Amigos right there. Shades of Eddie Guerrero. I respect it. I respect it. Right. Uh, so he's showing a little Latino Ooh, heat no, right there, and he chest. stomps him right on the head. That was a head. What do you, you you can't see what's going on here? That no. was right to the head. Now he's Not the got his angle. right arm in a key lock, so he's working both arms on him. He's trying to break both arms. Now yeah, that's is. that's the martial arts background. You know the wrestling background. We t we're, we we usually work one. Um, the, the you know the weak arm on the person. Right, I'm surprised Crowley still be able to punch her. He's doing him to a well, he has now. To, he's kind of slinging and a him. clothesline and by Alexander Crowley. Right there, but and yeah, another one. You know that this has to hurt his arms while he's and doing it. And another one. Yep, I told you. I knew it. Both yep. arms are killing him, and he he's just he tries putting the pressure on there, but. I mean, no offense, it's just not happening. I'm surprised he's working. still swinging after all the stuff that Spike has done to him and now throws him into, the turnbuckle. into the turnbuckle. Here it comes. And a sp splash. You're on the air, role model. Tell us oh. about your match. Oh, what? Huh? Okay. Sorry. Caught me watching some Alexander Crowley wrestling right there. You like the shirt? So, uh, anyway, yeah, Alexander Crowley, August 26th. World Light Heavyweight Championship. No chance of a rain out this time, boys and girls. We're wrestling indoors, which is where we belong. Anyway, what am I, Mr. Anderson or Mr. Kennedy, whatever in here? That's funny. Mr. Crowley. Mr. Crowley. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You got to admit, the fit looks great, don't it? I'm just, I'm just full of, I'm full of being beautiful and I'm full of myself. That's what a lot of people say at least. But the truth is, Alexander Crowley, I'm a big fan. I've been watching you for a while. Hell, I have no choice. I had to take over when, uh, when Mike Voorhees left the, uh, commentary booth. When they asked me, they said, uh, role model, would you mind doing this since you're, you know, you're pretty good at talking. Apparently I talk a lot. They said, uh, would you want to do that? I said, hell yes, I'd like to do that. Not because I want to hear my voice every week, but because of the fact that what better way to do film study on every single wrestler on the Rubber City Wrestling roster than if I have to do the play-by-play -play commentary on it. You know what I'm saying, Crowley? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Well, let me, let me break it down for you. I have been watching your matches, and yes, I am a fan. You are, you really are that good. But what, I, I mean, my job is strictly a tape study. And I have been doing it for a while. And I have been seeing so much great in you. You really are as advertised. I am so impressed with every single thing I see when it comes to the RCW World Light Heavyweight Champion. I'll even go as far as to say, you may be the best wrestler on the roster. You are listed as the best pound for pound. But you might be the best wrestler on the roster next to the GOAT. You understand what I'm saying now? You see, I didn't get the nickname GOAT because I wanted to call myself the greatest of all time. I got the nickname the GOAT because I'm the greatest of all time. And on August 26th, you're going to find out firsthand. I got to take this call. See you later.
remember the matches at the old Akron Armory? Back when wrestling was real and you weren't being force fed the sports entertainment crap? Well, RCW does. And that's why on Saturday, August 26th, Rubber City Wrestling brings to you the Art of War 4. This event not only features eight great matches, including four championship matches, but also live music entertainment. The main event will be for the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, Merciless Marcus Knight taking on the champion, Cody Reaper. Also, for the World Light Heavyweight Championship, your role model, Rick Lieb, will take on ruthless Alexander Crowley for his belt. Tickets are $15 for general admission, $20 for front row. For more information, visit twitter.com forward slash rubber wrestling or facebook.com forward slash rubber city wrestling. This event is sanctioned by the Ohio Athletic Commission. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Do you need something hauled away? Are you looking to scrap that old washer and dryer? Whether you're moving, doing some spring cleaning, or just need something taken away, Fuller's Cleanout is the way to go. Contact them by phone at 234-716-9651 or on Twitter at FCO the way to go. If the stuff has to go, call FCO. Let me explain something to you, Rory Angel. While you're flapping all your gums, this is how it goes. The Mayhem Mafia, we don't need anybody. We never needed anybody. And that includes the way. Now, Latin, before you go, oh my God, listen to what he said about the way. Let me explain. What we did when we joined the way was good business. Now, business, think about this. You look it up, Google, I don't care what you do. Business is something you might never know nothing about. My brothers in the way understand the business situation we have. The Mafia is a self-contained unit. We do what we do, we do how we do for ourselves. Now, keep running them lips. What you're doing is you're going to get your little lion heart hurt even more so than what he's already going to get. This is all your fault. When he's laying up in the hospital looking at you going, why, Roy, why? Think about your lips. Think about the things you said. This is all your fault. Now come August 26th at the Acker Turner's Club, I am going to neuter your little lion heart. All right, we are back. That was a quick and abrupt cutoff right there. No, no, uh... <laughs> No signal in it. Uh, it went right to my uh, promo, which is kind of funny because, you know, the promo that I sent in, I was actually watching some of these matches with Alexander Crowley. I mean, it would be you to interfere in his Oh, match, gosh, right? he's breaking out the brass knuckles. And by the way, this is legal. And, uh, oh! Oh, he hit him at the streets. And he hit him again. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, another one. Goodness. Dude, Three this guy, strikes with the brass Spike knuckles. is just... And now, now he's choking him with it. And guess what? There's nothing the ref can do. Everything nothing. here is legal. And that's the crazy part about doing that uh, that event is that all this is legal. Yes, it is. And um, I'm sure that... Uh, I'm sure that your boy, Mr. Crowley's feeling really good. Oh right about my now. gosh. Yeah. He is, yeah. uh, definitely taking a beating today. Yes. And he's going to be taking a, a beating. No! This. Oh, curb wow! stomp. Curb stomp. He's out. He is out. Uh, oh. Problem is, this isn't for pins. This isn't for pins. He's got to send him through a table. So, yeah, uh, that was, that was, Man, I, I, I don't even know. I don't know what to say. I lost some words. Well, that's good. Nobody wants to hear you talk anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, so now he's got the table out here. It looks like he's about to send him through it. Uh oh. Oh. Good. You know, Crowley's got a pretty hard noggin, but even it didn't break the table on that one. Maybe mm. do it again. You know, hitting him in the back. Spike's got a good upper hand on this. Spike's been dominating this match for the he, most part. He sure has been. It's been really, really been lopsided lately. I've not seen much offense from Alexander Crowley at all. I mean, what do you expect? It's the real world's champion taking on the imposter. All right, and they're calling for another commercial break. So we're going to go ahead and take another commercial break and be back right after this. Remember the matches at the old Akron Armory? Back when wrestling was real and you weren't being force fed the sports entertainment crap? Well, RCW does. And that's why on Saturday, August 26th, Rubber City Wrestling brings to you the Art of War 4. This event not only features eight great matches, including four championship matches, but also live music entertainment. The main event will be for the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, Merciless Marcus Knight taking on the champion, Cody Reaper. Also, for the World Light Heavyweight Championship, your role model, Rick Lieb, will take on ruthless Alexander Crowley for his belt. Tickets are $15 for general admission, $20 for front row. For more information, visit twitter.com forward slash rubber wrestling or facebook.com forward slash rubber city wrestling. This event is sanctioned by the Ohio Athletic Commission. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Are you looking for a job? I mean, seriously. Do you want a J-O-B? Then get a hold of ASAP Staffing. ASAP Staffing is located in Barberton, Ohio, 165 Second Street, Northwest. Phone number is 330-615-247. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Hello, yes, this is Dan Housing. This is Sunny from Glow. The Birdman Coco Beware. Luke the Dumpster Drosen. Dan Grell, and you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Get your thrill with the real. Keep banging and banging. Take care and sunny smiles. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global, Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. So I decided I was going to take a little time little time to think things over, as it were. And I came to the conclusion that my lovely wife and manager, she isn't trying to send her lion to slaughter. She isn't trying to have me taken out. Not on her birthday. She wouldn't do that. Now, I may not be overly fond of how this match came about, but I'm also not one to shy away from an opportunity. And as I come to realize all this, I couldn't help but hear Max Cortez letting his opinion be known. And it's funny because I kept hearing one word getting said, we. We know how to handle business. We're going to take care of business. We, 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 all the way home. Which has me thinking one of two things. Either he's brushing up on his French, or he really doesn't get what this match is all about. See. This isn't a way match. This isn't a Mayhem Mafia match. This isn't a Misfits match. This is you and me, Max, one-on-one -on -one for the first time. And I realize that we're not going to be out there alone. Rory knows what she needs to do, and I'm sure Miss Felony knows what she needs to do. But you, Max, it's going to be you and me. And like everybody else, you're planning your victory party before the bell even rings. And like everybody else, you're going to find out it's not that easy. And how fitting that this match takes place at Art of War. Because on August 26th, you, sir, are in for a war. I hope you're ready, Cortez, because I will be. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Riot's Prediction Show. Now, we've already heard Pike's Eye's perspective with Kathy. And I have to say... I like what I heard from her. She knows I'm going to kick butt tonight. But we're going to go ahead and... 
We're going to go ahead and do his predictions anyway, even though they're usually wrong. So, let's go ahead and start with, i got to think of the matches, because I don't have them on the top of my head here. So, I'm going to go ahead and say the first match in my mind. I believe it's Scott E. Stevens. What? Taking on... You all right? You yeah. going to have a stroke over here? Donovan A. Kozar. Who do you think is going to win that one? Donovan, dude, he, he, was, he was doing good during, in the war because he... He wasn't in the war. He was in the Navy. The Navy. Don't act like the dude fought in a battle or something. He got to go over the and... Navy. Let me tell you what Donovan A. Kozar was doing. He was stationed in probably Okinawa, pumping some Okinawa girls and, and, and enjoying Okinawan beer. Shh. Am I lying, though? I mean, come on. I get it. You're too young to be hearing really. about that, but not really. Probably shouldn't have said that. I just realized he's just a kid. Well, he's my well, listen, kid. Listen, listen. Okay. Listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. Who do you Scotty think to win Stevens that one? Doesn't have experience. Scotty Stevens has been wrestling way longer than Donovan Kozar. Just because he hasn't been on the card in a while doesn't mean he lost his experience. You crack me up. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go with. Donovan Kozar. Are you really? Yeah. All righty. As I said before, usually he's wrong. We're going to go ahead and say, uh, you're wrong on that one. I'm not doing my predictions yet, not until Spotlight. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, just wonder why he picked that one. All right, next match. The Butcher versus Draven Post. Let me guess. The Butcher just started wrestling like a week or two ago. No. Who's going to win this one? Probably thought you beat Danny England. Probably because you had someone to cheat with him. Wait, we're not talking about past matches. I'll be as easy as they might have been. Because you didn't know what you were doing because you were all you What does that have to do with... Going, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Punching him, okay? Listen. Butcher versus Draven Post. That's what match we're on. Okay? Stick with the program. You don't have a brain. Okay, well, anyways... Butcher versus Draymond Post. Butcher gonna kick his butt. Stupid Honolulu cuckoo. Hawaii. Draymond right now is doing amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Draymond. Oh gosh, it must be the heat down here or something. All right, so two wrong ones already. All American City Championship, no disqualification match. JL Watson, the champion, takes on my good buddy, Brandon Miller. Easy one. Jay Watson, one hundred percent. Dude, he's gonna rock him, roll him, and fool him. Worst rhyming skills ever. All right, uh, I'm gonna say you're probably gonna be over three, but I'm not predicting yet. Like I said, <sighs> next match. This is an easy one to pick. Lionheart versus Max Cortez. Grudge match. Say it. You know you don't want to, but you got to. Lionheart. Are you kidding me? I'm going to get him drug what? tested as soon as the show is done. Drug tested. You don't need drug tested. Yeah, if you're picking all these awful picks. Awful picks? Like your guys can be win a match? You're, you're the only person who can win in your, in the heel division, and plus, you cheat for all your wins. Number one, heel is a term used in Hollywood that, for some reason, people call wrestlers. I am just a professional wrestler. I'm not. A, I'm not a heel. Right. I'm not a baby face. I'm just a professional wrestler, and I wrestle you straight down the middle by the book. Wrestler. I'm gonna kick your butt in a minute. This is RCW. This is real professional wrestling. Not that. I know it is. Stuff. But you Our... do the quippy stuff. Not everybody else. <laughs> He's grounded. You know, anyway, RCW Tag Team Champions. The Dojo, Spike Ronan and Dice K versus Top Guns. That's Die Hard the Hunter and Mike Smiley. This is an easy one to pick as well. Good to see the real World Light Heavyweight Champion back. Now he's going to win another Top belt. Guns. Are you kidding? Are you just doing this to go against me? 
No, I'm doing this because I know who's going to win these matches. You think that there's going to, the, the champs that won these belts like a half a year ago or maybe longer and still have yet to defend them are all of a sudden going to win? Yeah, these guys are rusty and they're going to fill it. It seems like every time someone wins the tag belts, they disappear. You don't know. I, I know a lot. All right, let's go with the sixth match. Maybe finally you'll get one right. James Lethal of Team Beast taking on the RCW World's Super Heavyweight Champion, Josh Cortez, a.k.a. Schizo. And you know Josh is going to destroy old James Lethal. James Lethal is, is the easy pick here. He can wrestle. He obviously... He lost to Cody Reaper, man. But Cody Reaper is an amazing wrestler. Not gonna lie. But he barely did a thing! Number one, I don't recall he him... He got destroyed! I recall him destroying Cody Reaper. Number two... Uh, Alright, we're gonna go ahead and move on because you are full of it. Ride it. Um... We'll go ahead and I'll skip this this seventh match and go to the eighth match. RCW World Heavyweight Championship. Marcus Knight versus Cody Reaper. Who wins this one? Cody Reaper! Easy pick! You do not know. You are just picking the Why, why are I'm you going... The brain. When you know Cody Reaper's going to win, you know. Listen... You know. I had a match. I had a match. It was boat versus goat, right? I'm the goat. He's the boat. Boat meaning best of all time. I'm the greatest of all time. Basically, that means we're equal. Marcus Knight and I went to a draw because of, well, Scotty Stevens. The Grinch that stole my win. But, needless to say, Marcus Knight was a fantastic wrestler in there, and I've been in the ring with both men. No. I have to say, I know what I'm talking about. You don't. All right, so obviously, you're wrong again. Now, RCW Light Heavyweight Championship of the World, Alexander Crowley, or as I call him, Alejandro, versus yes. your role model, no Rick Leib, the Alexander GOAT. Alexander Crowley! Versus me, yes. Who do you think's going to win? Alexander Crowley! Yes, he's facing me. Who do you think's going to win? <laughs> Crowley's going to win. <laughs> That's it, kid. I'm spanking you. Every time. Well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. That's it for this little moron's perspective. Pike Size perspective was way better. So, for Riot Leave, he, I'm your role model, Rick. He's Lee, insane. Saying, he's insane. Next time for he's another insane. He's You're insane. insane. All your picks are crazy. Cuckoo. Hey, hey, you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Anyway, say bye to your fans. See you he's guys. Insane. See you guys next event. Peace. <laughs> James. Oh, James. <laughs> August 26th. Akron. Turner Club. Talmadge, Ohio. Me and you. One on one. Mono. Imano. I think that's how that goes. Who the hell cares? Anyways, you want Rosie? <laughs> that's funny. You can pry her from my cold, dead fingers. It seems to be a pattern that RCW management seems to want to stack the deck against me for some oddball reason, like they're afraid of me or something. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of, except for the fact that I will break every bone in your body and leave you laying lifeless, clenching 
on within a thread of what, what's the word I'm looking for? Humanity. Yeah. Yeah. So James, you are the first victim, the first casualty of my super heavyweight title reign. And I know that you think that you got something that you're going to pull out like a rabbit getting pulled out of a magician's hat, but that's not the case. No. No. <laughs> Rosie. Do you want to go with that bad man? She said, hell no. So James, if I were you, I wouldn't even show up August 26th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. But I also know that you're too stupid to back down from a fight. Well, lethal, if it's a fight you want, it's going to be a fight that you'll get. See you August 26th. Remember the matches at the old Akron Armory? Back when wrestling was real and you weren't being force fed the sports entertainment crap? Well, RCW does. And that's why on Saturday, August 26th, Rubber City Wrestling brings to you the Art of War 4. This event not only features eight great matches, including four championship matches, but also live music entertainment. The main event will be for the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, Merciless Marcus Knight taking on the champion, Cody Reaper. Also, for the World Light Heavyweight Championship, your role model, Rick Lieb, will take on ruthless Alexander Crowley for his belt. Tickets are $15 for general admission, $20 for front row. For more information, visit twitter.com forward slash rubber wrestling or facebook.com forward slash rubber city wrestling. This event is sanctioned by the Ohio Athletic Commission. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy Do stuff. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you Footsteps and Night Z, Guru Films, is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash gurufilms.420 to purchase DVDs and for updates on new films coming soon. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. All right, we are back with our main event, Spike Ronan versus Alejandro Crowley. And what is going on here? Well, what's going on here is it's a tables match, so they're bringing the table into the ring so that he can send Crowley through that table and win the match. But why does he have a, why is he going to have someone to help him? Because that's his tag team partner. Oh my gosh. If if Crowley 
could keep a partner, he'd probably have one, too. Oh, oh, come on. That was beautiful. No, it was not. The referee wants to do something but can't because guess what? There's no disqualification in a match like this. That is true, I guess. You know, while we're waiting for uh, Crowley to get his way back to the ring, um, the nerve of my child to pick every match against me. Oh, I loved it. Oh, my gosh. I, I was I was loving every minute of it. It was cracking me up, too. Yeah, I know. Your reaction I was watching time. you laugh during that whole entire oh, clip. Oh, man. I was just like, wow, that's ridiculous. All right, here it goes. Now, watch. This is the part I have a problem with. This is the part right here. Now, what? as you see, first of all, Crowley should be allowed to hold onto the ropes for leverage. So here it goes. Oh, now watch. Watch this. There's no pins. There's no pins. Ooh, what okay. a kick to the face. Oh, gosh. Yeah, wow. He was on his knees. That doesn't show any flexible ability. That just shows that he takes a cheap shot when a guy's on his knees. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Crowley, man. He shouldn't be kicking a man while he's down. He's like, what? Uh, I mean, how many times... Do I have to hear it? Now watch this. Watch, watch, watch this. Watch, 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 watch. He's going to set him up over here. Now, here it goes. A punch, number one. A punch, number two, as you saw. Now, here goes Crowley. One, two, three. Boom. Through the table. Why didn't the match end? Uh, Because he, Spike, didn't put him through the table. He put himself through the table. Technically, by Spike moving out of the way, Spike put him through the table. Uh, yeah, it doesn't count. I know it doesn't count, but it should count is what I'm getting at. I disagree with the call. I think that he should have been, I think the match should have been over right then and there. RCW rules. I mean, that's all I could say. <laughs> I don't get it. But, you know, maybe that's something you could talk to, uh, you know, management or something. Wrong well, with. now that I am management, I will. OK, I'm going to do exactly that. I love this right here. He's just pounding away at him. Yeah, I, I really hate this. Actually, it's kind of annoying. It's legal. I guess it's legal. But well, it's then shut like, up. Quit complaining. Why do you always have complaints? Because why should someone else interfere in his match? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. All right. Like, whatever. Let, let the man earn his win. Don't make Watch this. Don't have someone else help you. Now, here's another thing I'm going to be showing you coming up right here. These two guys going at it and stuff, right? Now, watch. Watch this. Boom. Ready? Boom. Ooh, what wow, a good what punch, punch by Spike. Oh, what a weak punch by Crowley. Oh, now watch. Right here. I'm sorry. They're going to fall. Watch this. Watch. Ready? Here it goes. Move, ref. Here it goes. You're watching. He's getting him. He's taking him out. He's taking Crowley out. Oh, man. And just... now, boom, he throws Crowley through the rope. No, the rope. it looks like. Man, that's a solid wood one, too. That ain't even oh, one of them. goodness. That ain't even one that... of those uh, cork board or whatever it's called, the compressed wood ones. That's solid wood table. Yep. And they went through. Now, he goes in there, and then, look, Alexander Crowley's the winner. Yes, because he laid on top of no. him as he fell through the table. No, because that was the the move was done by Spike to bring him through the table. Well, I feel like Just, Spike screwed up. I guess he should have been the one on top, not Crowley. I disagree. Oh. One hundred. I mean, Crowley's the one that's out cold. Uh, look, we got a kid jumping in there trying to attack. Dice K, who did nothing yes, but did. supported his tag team partner. No. These kids out there, relentless, man. They don't care. They they, they think that they can get away with stuff, man. Now watch. Spike going to get the ref out of the way. Good call. Because you know what? After that bogus call, the ref probably should have got nailed. So now Spike is going to do what he should have done. Uh, shook his hand and then kicks oh, him right in the face. Isn't that beautiful? No, that is not beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, and now Spike's getting the real RCW World Light Heavyweight is... Championship and putting it in his face. That's awesome. That's disgusting. That Come is on, awesome. Man. This Saturday, August 26th, at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio, ruthless Alexander Crawley takes on your role model, Rick Lee. Now, Rick Lee, you claim to be a fan of mine, but I just think you're trying to get in my head. 
and that's not going to work. All your dirty tactics that you play isn't going to work with Alexander Crawley. I'm the best in RCW today. I am your undisputed world light heavyweight champion. Now, Rick Lee, you might be the man. You might be the GOAT. But all that comes crashing down Saturday when I take your legacy. When I take the role model. Now, don't get all hyper. Because come this Saturday evening, Rick, you face what you haven't faced before. And that's the best pound for pound. You might be good, but I'm Crawley. What the heck is that even supposed to mean? Hey, strong words from Crawley though. You know what, that, no, strong words might, no. Anyway, for Ricky Williams, I am your role model Rick Lee saying, join me on Saturday when I destroy this punk for running his mouth.